Hello everybody. Yeah, well, I'm out here by next to my little Kenny here, my little uh, 1960 Massey Ferguson. And, uh, well, <laughs> you can see I got my good clothes on, so uh, <laughs> I can't get real dirty right yet. But I thought, heck, while I'm waiting for the wife to get ready so we can go to town to do our uh, monthly shopping, I thought I'd come out here uh, and explain to you a little bit about mechanical fuel injection. It just so happens that this little tractor is, uh, well, it's a diesel, but it's the same principle, and it's real easy to explain here. It's kind of neat, too. Ah, let's flip you around here. That filler right there is the injector pump, or CV constant velocity uh, pump. What it does is it gets the fuel in from here. And it's just a trickle fuel down into here and it runs off of the kind of like a timing chain this is your distributor and your fuel pump all in one it's all in one unit it runs off of the uh, this one runs off the chain down basically like a timing chain uh, set up in here timing gear this one's gear operated but inside of here is basically like an oil pump. You all know what an oil pump looks like, like on a small block Chevy and all of that. That's basically what's going on inside of here. It brings the fuel in from here, and each one of these runs up to the in individual cylinders. This is a three cylinder, so that's number one, number two, number three. And it's set like I said, like a distributor. So it'll send fuel through this one first, and then this one, and then this one. Uh, kind of like your distributor does for your timing, for your spark. This is your throttle. It'll increase it or decrease it. Anyway, it sends the pressure. It builds the pressure up in here. It builds up quite a bit. I think it's uh, on this one. I'd have to look it up, but it's well over 100 pounds of pressure. It's like 100 and 175, I think, almost 200 pounds of pressure. Comes up through here into these. There's a pencil injector inside of here, which is basically a pressure relief valve. So when it builds pressure up in here, I'm just going to round it off and say when 200 pounds of pressure comes up through here, it releases the valve and it shoots the diesel down into here. Piston comes up, compression, boom, it fires it. All in one. The mechanical and fuel injection, gas injection, is pretty much the same principle. And it'll hit this one, then it'll hit this one, and then it'll hit the middle one and go back. That's how this one's firing order is. Then you adjust the throttle to give it more or less, keep it firing more or less. You know, very simple, extremely simple. And kind of give you an idea of how durable they are. That thing's been on there since 1960. <laughs> So anyway, that's a real quick and real easy... Oh, I'm going to end up getting greasy out here. My wife loves going to town with me. <laughs> I'm always covered in grease and grime and dirt. <laughs> anyway, that's a real quick, uh, simple explanation on uh, mechanical fuel injection. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I don't know, if you can afford to find one of these old tractors, there ain't no better way to learn it than that. They are beyond simple. And you can fix them all with the screwdriver and a couple of wrenches. And, and they're very versatile. You can use them for about dang near anything. <laughs> all right? So I'm going to get to town and get our shopping done so I can come back and uh, start slugging on that ferro lane again. In the meantime, keep that metal hot. Even if it is on an old tractor that you can use to move cars around, right? <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one.